We're gonna be making a beautiful roasted ribeye with a bear rouge, a red wine butter sauce. And then we're gonna be making truffle mashed potatoes. Just boosh, crazy, insanely delicious. I don't really prefer a grilled steak. I don't think it's the best case scenario for how good a steak could possibly be. A seared steak is phenomenal. Developing the mylar reaction, where the, the amino acids and the proteins begin to melt and make a crust. That's when beef is at its best. We're gonna make an extraordinary steak today. But first things first, we're gonna jump on the potatoes. We're gonna take all of the peel off of our Yukon Golds. We're gonna cut these into consistent wedges, and you want them relatively small because you want these to cook fast. Boom, 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 okay? Make sure that you salt your water. Should be as salt as the ocean. Potatoes in, and we're gonna let these start to cook. So I've got some cream here, and I'm gonna go ahead and set this up so I never have, I don't have to worry about it until we're ready to go. Half a stick of butter, a little sprig of fresh thyme, bang, and they're also gonna add a little bit of black truffle to this too. Break off a little tiny bit of it, probably four or five slices. Get it to the cream so it starts to infuse. Bang. These are 36 ounces. These are heavy, big boy steaks. Really fantastic bone in ribeyes. We're just gonna be cooking one of these guys. A nice big piece of meat like this, you wanna taste the meat. So we're gonna keep the seasonings relatively simple. And it's just gonna be about salt and pepper. All right, we're gonna let this come to a nice big slight smoke. We've got a couple of big shallots here. Now this is gonna be part of our garnish and part of the dish. But if you get like these really big pieces, just try to leave them as whole as possible. And you wanna wait for a thunderous applause. There's a big difference between searing and stewing. It's a thick steak. It's very important that the steak has got some contact time, right? Because it's also developing that really gorgeous, crusty brown. Leave it alone. Isn't that beautiful? See that sear? That's what we're talking about. Add these shallots in. Now, this is just like style points. Boom. And make sure you get that edge. All right, shallots are looking really great. So we're just gonna pop these out, and then we're gonna finish the shallots when we butter base this. Now we're gonna take the steak, we're gonna put this back to a dry pan. And then we're gonna take this butter here, a whole stick. So guys, we're gonna butter base this, including all this like really luscious fresh thyme. Now, can you guys, if you can smell this, we're actually frying the fresh thyme in all this brown butter. We're gonna hit this, a little bit of lemon juice, give it just an absolute beautiful, bright balance. Bang. On a rack here, pop these bad boys right on top. Okay, brown butter on top. <laughs> Guzzle away, man. It's a little hot. It's a little hot, but help yourself. We can do shots of that later. Yeah, we're, we're gonna do brown butter shallot shots. We're gonna pop this into the oven for probably 12 to 15 minutes. We're looking for a nice medium rare. 132 is the perfect medium rare temperature. Let's check on our potatoes before we move on to the next thing. Give that a little crush with your fingers. Perfectly, perfectly fluffy. These potatoes are ready to go. So guys, this is a uh, potato ricer. So really elegant mashed potatoes have no texture to them whatsoever. It's baby food. Give them a little crush. And the potatoes just fall right out. All right, boom, done. We're gonna start working on our sauce. We're gonna take one shallot, and we're gonna cut this into rings. A Little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Okay, so once this pan comes back up to temp, we're gonna saute our shallots, and just throw the rest of the time in here. All the stuff on the bottom is called fond, and that's got a tremendous amount of beef flavor from the steak itself. So you don't want to wash that out necessarily, unless you burn it, right? You don't want to wash it out. So now, guys, we're going to hit this with some red wine. That smells duh, delicious. All right, we're going to let that start to reduce. Our truffle cream is starting to kind of warm up and do its thing. OK, so check it out. We want the truffle to just kind of dissolve into the potatoes. So we're going to take a whole truffle. Because I like you guys, we're friends. I'm going to spend some money. You're coming over. Ah, boom, what's that? Steak's ready. Steak time. Steak time, fellas. Let's check this and see where we are. 114. But well, we're kind of close, right? So let's pop it in for another 10. All right, you got a strainer for your cream. All right, we're going to go ahead and just add not all of it, but most of it. Let's see where we are. Because sometimes potatoes, depending on what time of the year it is, they can either have more moisture or less. All right, a little bit of salt. 
little bit of olive oil. Look at that. So. All right, so a magical thing just happened, right? The wine itself loses that harshness. So now it's basically just like this really yummy, grapey port wine flavor. Okay, now we're gonna add the demi, okay? If you add the demi before that, you're gonna lock in that hard alcohol flavor and you can't get it out, okay? That's critical. The red wine vineyard to brighten it up. Incredible. And I still gotta reduce. Oh, beautiful, yo. It's done. I've, I've got a good, vibey feeling about this. Right? So 133, we're perfect on the nose. Now we're gonna let this rest before we cut into it. So our sauce is getting really super yummy. So we're gonna add like a nice big healthy pinch of black pepper to this. Four tablespoons butter. Whisk this in one pat at a time. Now check out the sauce. But a boom. The sauce looks spectacular, fellas. See that? Woo! Isn't that great? That. Sexy. This is four star, man. So we're gonna pop this cap off. These are good chef snacks. When you plate this, you're gonna go for the center here. All right, fellas, because I love you. Here's some knives and some forks. Wow. What do you think? Amazing. 